Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Beyond Garden series where we explore fun interesting stories of the natural world. And today I'm back with another science story of why forests are green in color and not purple, silver or golden in color. Now before some of you walk out of this video thinking you know why they're green because chlorophyll, that's not it. Let's see why they are only green specifically. First, let me clarify that all plants majorly being green is not a coincidence. Let's start with the basics of how do we see color. Whenever the light from the sun is falling on a surface, whatever color it reflects is the color that we perceive it as the color of that item. For instance, here I have two soft toys, Sophie the giraffe and another giraffe probably. It's yellow because it's reflecting yellow part of the light everything else it's absorbing white because it's absorbing basically nothing it's reflecting all the light which is together the white light we'll talk more about it in the detail but how do we see these different colors how do we see these different shades and how is that relevant to the green of the forest well the light from the sun has a spectrum of rays there are kinds of rays that come from the sun there's microwave there's x-ray infrared part of the rays that we see is called the visible spectrum in 1655 the great british physicist sir isaac newton showed that the light the visible spectrum which is white in color is actually made of seven colors Vibgyor. The acronym Vibgyor is given to violet, indigo, green, yellow, orange, red. These are seven different parts, different colors of the visible light. These seven colors are also what you see in a rainbow and together they form the visible spectrum. Each color corresponds to a wavelength and because of that you see a certain color. Let's say at 500 nanometer, at 700 nanometer. So as the wavelength changes, the color also changes. But you don't need to worry about it and I'm not going to go in great depth for that because that's not really relevant here. But what is relevant is that the leaves have a pigment chlorophyll that can absorb all the other parts of the visible spectrum except the green wavelength that is what it reflects and that is what you and i see here what you see on the screen is the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll so it's reflecting the green bit everything else is absorbed likewise there's another pigment anthocyanin so it's reflecting only the purple part some of the blue part of the spectrum and everything else is absorbed by this pigment well that is the technical reason of why we see green but then there is a bigger question why only green and why not pink or red or yellow we humans have a trichromatic vision that means we can see a combination of three colors whereas herbivores cattle for instance cow elephants basically the animals that consume plants they have dichromatic vision their vision is actually limited which means that relatively speaking they have a smaller range of colors that they can perceive or see so in the case of a dichromatic animal a scenery Something like this, this is what you and I would see, would look like this in the case of cow or elephants. Their sensitivity also varies for different colors. Guess which color these plant-eating animals are most sensitive to? Of course, green. Apart from the sense of smell, animals use the color cue to find food as well. And it's not only the animals that need plants, but the plants also need animals because that's the only way they can propagate. That's the only way they'll be able to spread their seed and reach out to new areas and new regions. However, at this point, I also want to mention that evolutionarily speaking, we do not know yet that did the green of the plant evolve first and then the animals adapted to that, or the animals were already perceiving green the color they were more sensitive to that color and that's how the plants adapted to become green whatever may be the case but this process of evolution is a long beautiful and a slow process it takes millions and thousands of years for things to change for animals and plants to adapt to each other science hasn't been able to find out what happened first but one thing is for sure that evolution has ensured that everyone can coexist beautifully. At this point, I would also want to address some generalizations that we made. For instance, we know that only the evergreen forests are the kind of forests that remain green 
throughout the year apart from that for instance the deciduous forest they change color maple trees in canada usa they change color they become orange for some time and then go back to green we also know about the cherry blossom in japan but generally speaking majority of the time the plants remain green there is some logic to why they change color to orange and why the cherry blossom happens if you want i can talk about that in detail in another video for now what we are trying to explain is that majorly these plants remain green in color and why does that happen so to answer the question of why green well a spooky black or a fun red would have been interesting to see on a forest but who are we to question the logic of evolution perhaps the green of the forest symbolizes the harmony the balance that it brings to our ecosystem this video was a part of our new series called beyond garden do remember to check out our other videos as well in this series before i vanish from your screen i want to remind you that garden up survives on patronage of gardening enthusiasts such as you We do not accept donations because we value our products and services. If you would want to support us, please check out our Garden Up store. Who knows, you might find something useful there for your plants, for your home, or for your balcony. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.